As we go back to join many of Bill's friends, celebrate his life, we'll talk with Rod Hadfield. Bill Mussett was a name that I think I first heard as a kid, uh, reading Hot Rod magazines. You yourself, Rod, I know you had a lot of uh, involvement with Bill, many ways through the club on a personal level and as a business level, helps you build cars and that sort of thing. Yeah. Heartfelt losses from yourself, but can you sort of sum up a, a bit about Bill? Well, you mentioned um, since you were a kid, well, Billy was Billy the kid. Billy was a, a very young uh, a teenager when he first got interested in cars here in Castlemaine. He used to ride down the street a couple of uh, houses and watch Russell Hicks work on his car. Uh, Hicksy he was known as. Russell was one of our pioneer rodders, one of the foundation members of our club. He was building a, a pickup with a uh, Thunderbird engine, I think it had in it, and... Uh, it was quite a unique vehicle in, the, in its day. He later went on to build a 32 Sport Coupe and a 37 panel van and uh, he's now moved to Kangaroo Island but uh, yeah, Hicksie was uh, a lot to do with Billy's upbringing and uh, Billy was a member of our club for all that time ever since he was a teenager and I employed Bill for around 15 or 16 years and uh, the whole time I was in Casamona I was friendly with Bill. And during that time of employment, Bill just didn't knock off at five and go home because you always had projects you were working on. And I know we heard Michelle uh, at the funeral actually say that his work was in his head, it was there 24-7. And he did have a big involvement in a lot of projects, especially one that was world-renowned that you were known for was the 55 Chev. Big part in that one. Yes. Yeah, look, whenever Bill, worked, Bill and I worked together. We seemed to think alike, even though he was an employee, he would go home and he would still think about things and he'd come to work the next day with an idea and overnight, you know, it's an idea that I'd possibly been working on too. So we'd both put our ideas together and between the two of us, we always solved the problem. Bill was a problem solver, he liked the challenge and uh, I never saw him beaten with anything, never. He was a very fine machinist and uh, his uh, ability to, to mix with others was probably his greatest, uh, you know, um, feature that that he could talk to any hot rider and people used to ask him questions and, and he would always know the answer always and I know one of Bill's last wishes was to actually have the funeral service here at your property with your museum where we are now we walk around the museum we see his name on many of the the plaques in front of the vehicles explaining a bit about him so yep. a lot of involvement he that was his wish and it was yes. fulfilled um, I know it was a bit of a very emotional day we, we didn't want to f film any of the funeral itself but with Michelle's blessing we've done the parade um, a huge turnout of cars and everything along for the day yes um, you I know spent a lot of time just mowing the lawns getting everything ready for that that day to make everything right for Bill and yep. I don't think it could have possibly gone down better than it did on the day itself uh, another thing that you're renowned for stringing a few words together and uh, doing a bit of a poem I think we mentioned on the show a few weeks ago and uh, this occasion was another one of those that you could put your heart into a poem. Yes, well I, I've put a poem together and uh, it, it really is a, uh, a poem between Bill and myself. Uh, I've called it a helping hand and uh, Bill, Bill would have liked it. Uh, he was a quiet sort of a guy, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't seeking major publicity or anything, he just trotted along, did his job and he was quite happy to do that and uh, I've, I've featured my time with Bill, mentioning him, his sisters, his father, Hixie, and Robert Tingey, who was our local panel beater, and Robert had a lot to do with the rodders at that time. He still lives here in Castlemaine, and he's uh, really looked upon as a as a, a fine tradesman, and uh, Bill really looked up to him. So, yes, the poem was, uh, was something I put together. I started off with only a few lines, and it <laughs> wound up at about 16 verses, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the viewers would enjoy it. 